What's up, YouTube? It's this guy, Jeremy McDonald. Let me hear you say it. One of your very favorite, one of your very favorite people with Parkinson's. Of course, it's Jeremy, also known as J Mac. Jeremy Mac. Let's do this thing. Captain Kirk's nipples. That was amazing. <laughs> Can't take any credit for it, though my, my boy David Sankster over in the UK, my brother from another mother, made that intro for me. I feel like I've I've got to, like, up my game, because I've got, like, official intros to this and not just Parkinson's. I feel like maybe I can't, uh, you know, scratch my butt on camera. Not that I've done that, that I'm aware of, or, you know, I'm, hell, I'm not going to change anything. I'm still drink water in the middle of my videos. Thank you, David Sankster. You make me look so cool. All right. Before we get to my DBS decision, I want to talk about something. A live stream, March 29th, Friday, March 29th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube. That's about four or five days away. I have not figured out how to schedule schedule it on YouTube yet, but but may, hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will figure out how to, how to schedule the thing. I'm going to throw up a picture right here of my wife, me, and my lovely lady. She will be joining me with the, with for the live stream. She will be answering your questions about what it's like to like to live with this guy, one of your very favorite people with Parkinson's. Yeah, let me hear you say it. All right, um, not to bury the lead here, but let me let's get down to the DBS question. I've decided not to have DBS now. I think my friends are probably already pretty much aware of that. I've I've, it's been no secret I've been talking to people, interviewing people on this very channel with DBS, and some of them love it, some of them don't know yet, and some of them hate it. It's it's a crapshoot, and what I've decided is that there's one big thing that it, there's there's I mean several things, but let me start. Let's just say two big things. I should have planned this out, guys. I'm just talking from the top of my head. You know, like me, I'm just I'm just j jibber jabber. No, this jibber jabber. All right, three things. Uh, one, first one, big one, it would be three different surgeries. Three different surgeries. And there would be a, like a two-week recovery time, at least, in between each surgery. I cannot afford to be down that long. And now I know you say, well, can you afford to have Parkinson's untreated? I hate to say yes. I've got a functional life, to some extent, dysfunctional as hell in other senses of the word. But... The trauma and the, the length of recovery time from three different surgeries, I just can't do it. Now, I know a lot, a lot of the people that I've talked to have had it done in one, where they plant the bleeds on both sides and then the battery pack the same time. There's also those who've had the wires put in and then the battery pack at a later date. They would be one to put the wire in on one side, wire in on the other side, two different two different surgeries, and then put the battery pack in. For a third surgery. Can't do that. Second thing. My voice. One of the side effects that I've noticed and read about is there's a there's a can be a risk of you your voice becoming weak or stuttery or just hard to understand with DBS. And I've my voice is everything to me, whether I'm talking or singing. It's how I communicate with the world. I, I've always said I would rather be able to talk than walk. Just say hypothetically DBS could correct my walk, but the, the side effect would be that my voice was affected. I don't think I could live with that. I really don't. I've podcasted for years, done music for years, sang, talked. My voice is the most used muscle in my body. And I just can't, the most important muscle in my body really is my, vo is my voice. And I just, I can't run the risk of, of um, in my mind, losing that. It's, it's so important to me, just the connections that, I, that I've made, both of my friends and you guys. I consider you guys to be friends I haven't met yet. Some of you I've met, and I hope to meet all of you one day. And then the third thing that really bothers me is I feel like there's no guarantee. Well, there is no guarantee. I feel like... The longer I've had this disease, and I've, I've heard this from other Parkies that have had it longer than me, we're just kind of lab rats when it comes down to it. Our MDSs, our neurosurgeons, our neurologists really are just shooting in the dark a lot of times. I mean, the one thing they know can work is cinnamon, but even then cinnamon doesn't work for some people. I just, I don't feel like rolling the dice on my voice and the rest of my life 
my health and my mobility having wires planted in my head where they can't really let's let's face it if they if they get it in the wrong spot it can drastically affect uh, its its uh, efficacy and i've talked to people with that totally regret their dvs that are locked up they can't move now i, I don't know why I'm, I'm obviously not a doctor but some people dbs has been a nightmare for them i feel like i've got the devil that i know um he's on my back he never lets go but i you kind of shake him free once in a while and kind of like certain times of the day where he gets tired and kind of drops off enough for me to do things and i just can't risk that i ran it by my wife and obviously my, i've got a i've got a young son who's getting ready to turn 12 not so young anymore growing up fast it's a big deal to me being able to come on here and talk to you being able to talk to my family being able to my wife says i hold court she's like you get your your glass of wine a glass of water right there and you sit cross-legged in your chair and you put your arms like like king solomon and you just talk and talk and talk away cross your arms i guess whatever my whatever my posture is and you 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 make people laugh and i just personality changes too can happen i just i don't feel like i can risk that and, and I've, I've talked to dear friends that have told me jeremy i would rather be able to have a conversation with you and you'd be wiggly and maybe not be able to walk across the room but it'd be it'd be you and not an altered version of you now this is all nobody knows and I, for those of you that have had dbs and it works awesome awesome i just can't take the risk because my voice i mean other people their voice isn't as important to them but my voice my personality my sense of humor if i couldn't do this i would probably go into a really dark place and once again i gotta thank you guys for all the warm responses and the kind words and the letters and let me just give a shout out to my buddy sven in germany see it's just contacts like that that i've made that is priceless to me so hopefully you don't take this the wrong way if dbs worked for you awesome i would like to get your feedback and your comments always welcome i know i've been kind of teasing this for a couple weeks now sorry for the delay i just uh i don't i have, I have not officially told my neurologist this but my my mds I'm, i'll be going back in may i don't know what she'll say if she'll want me to consider it again i just i'm comfortable and happy now i don't want that to change even though there's a lot of things i can't do i can still talk I can still laugh. I can still be me. And I hope that never changes. That's all I got from my dark, shadowy... Oh, by the way. This is my theme. I got a bunch of other records up here that I just like. But this one, Let It Be. This is, this is my theme this week. Let It Be. I'm going to let it be. I'm just not going to do it. Love you, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. So from my dark, mysterious bunker in the rainy city of St. Louis, peace and love, my friends. I used to be a working man a long, long time ago. Up at five, four days a week, come rain, come sleet, come snow. Nowadays I sit around, stare at my TV, thinking about the way things used to be. Thought I was invincible when I was 23. Thought the ups and downs of life did not apply to me. Nowadays I sit around watching my TV, wondering what's happening to me. I don't know if I'll ever be okay again. But I know things won't ever be the same. But as long as I have you beside me, girl, as long as I have you, we can face the world. We'll be all right.